Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do your daily vibes for around the 24th. You know, the timing is fluid though. We are just going to see what comes up. What do we have for around the 24th? The moment of decision, because what I see is the two of wands. Do you stay where you're at? Do you move forward? You're at this crossroad. Do you need to make a decision? Are you ready? Are you ready to make this decision? This is probably a pretty big decision. You probably have to leave something behind to step into the future. So I feel as though this uh, reading is going to be about the moment of decision. You know, I feel like it's where you... Somebody is making the decision to leave the past behind and step into that new life. It's stepping over the edge, right? It's like they have the opportunity right in their hand. They've been hemming and hawing about it, but the decision is being made. It's like it's the moment of decision. So let's see. Mm. Seven of Cups, King of Cups, Reverse. There's a lot of options here. There's choices. There's some sort of confusion. Could be dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Doesn't have to be. But there's emotions. It's there's emotions all over the place because there's there's so many choices. There's so many options. So I feel like it's a difficult decision. Remember, it's the moment of decision. It really is the moment of decision. There's a lot of options here. Um there is. <laughs> let's see what we got let's get some more cards to go with this king of cups in reverse typically the king of cups in reverse is uh, somebody that is withdrawn uh, they may not have the best of intentions uh, doesn't communicate well could be closed off emotionally Ooh. oh Ace of Cups reverse. This is definitely closed off emotionally. And there could be some sadness. There could be some tears. Somebody's exploring their options. They are. And we have an individual here that may be... It could be an overflow of emotions or unable to master emotions or emotional shutdown or an emotional breakdown. It's definitely going to be an emotion. Something that, there's an emotional day coming up, put it that way. So I don't know if it's tomorrow or the next day or whatnot. But it's there's it, we have an emotional time ahead because somebody is exploring their options. And um, wow. Page, there could be an unrequited love situation here. You know, where somebody's dreams get shattered. They get shattered because... And there's a rejection. I don't know if, if if there's a rejection here or what. Somebody's definitely making a choice and there could be a rejection um, because somebody chooses another option. Um, now the Page of Cups reverse is tears and so isn't the Ace of Cups <laughs> reverse. These are tears. So I think there's gonna there could be some sadness or some tears that are shed. Um, yeah, there's... <laughs> Exposure, exposure, two of swords reversed. This is seeing the truth, lies being exposed, um, emotionally guarded. We have an individual here that is very emotionally guarded or, yeah, I mean, that's what it looks like to me. Um, been blocking their emotions, blocking their feelings. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Queen of Pentacles, Queen of Pentacles, so the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She has a uh, well, she has the Queen, she has the Ace of Pentacles in her hand, so she has a golden opportunity. She has she's holding on to her money. She's holding on to her value. She's holding on to um well, she's got something solid, stable, and secure here. She's very fertile. She's very grounded. She's very comfortable. She's set. She's set. She's very devoted. She's a homemaker. Uh, she appears to have everything she needs. 
There's a level of discontent in her face, though. There is. She's she's thinking about her value. She's thinking about what she has. She's thinking about her stability. She has a lot to offer. She does have a lot to offer. She does. Look, it's a big old pentacle right there. That's that's something stable. That's something solid. Solid. That's something secure. She's thinking about her security. She may be very business oriented as well. The Queen of Pentacles is very much focused on her, her business, her home. She's very materialistic. She's very laid back. Um, hmm. Oh, God. There could be a rejection here. There definitely could be a rejection that is because somebody may be rejecting an offer or taking something away or uh, not giving to a situation, holding. I'm going to, I'm going to hold on. I'm going to hold on for a little while. Oh, the six of pentacles reversed. So that is a uh, rejection of an offer. Uh, maybe this person thinks that they deserve more. They think that they deserve more. They know their value. They know their worth. This is somebody that is very um, oh, down to earth, grounded, realistic, very realistic, the Queen of Pentacles. So this is exposing the truth not giving to a situation there could be an upcoming rejection from this person which could cause another person a lot of heartache with the king of cups and the ace of cups and the page of cups reversed there could be some heartache here there could be um now this could be like get letting this is like uh letting go being let go now this could even be at work okay this could be at work. It doesn't have to be a relationship. Now the Queen of Pentacles is very generous. Now this is, but this is abuse of generosity or something like that. Hmm. Something is going on. Ooh, holding on, holding on. There could be an obsession here. We could have somebody here that is obsessed. They are obsessed with holding on to an individual that is very stable and, you know, has a lot to offer. But there's 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 some sort of being in denial, not seeing the truth, but the truth coming out. Now, this is like choosing the safest option. There's a level of indecision for sure. There's indecision about what what is the best choice, which is the best option. Temperance, go with the flow. It's about going with the flow. It's about finding balance. Managing feelings. Now, if something is going on here. This could be some sort of reunion. You know. Mm. Three of Pentacles reversed. Now, this is lack of compromise and needing to compromise. There could be a choice between a couple of different... Well, obviously, there's a choice. And when there's a choice, there's more than one person. So, this is not working together. A lack of communication. No teamwork. But coming together. So, coming together after there's been no communication. Making some compromises. Um unblocking, opening up. We have somebody opening up. They may have been let go. They may have been rejected. But now there's a golden opportunity in this person's hand. So there's there's some sort of, let me get some more cards. Somebody wants to hold on to somebody that is stable. That's for sure. The magician. We have somebody here that has all the power in their hands. 
has all the resources to get whatever they want and they are going to take action. They're going to take action to, this is like reunite or something like that with somebody that they haven't, maybe they've been blocked from or they haven't been communicating with or something like that. Now the magician takes action to bring success. But this could be, this could even be somebody new, okay? Because this is taking action, um, to gain something stable. Somebody is finding the resources within them. Trying to make a better choice as well. Finding the willpower. This is about willpower and the discipline. Using all those resources to heal something. To make the best choice as well. Interesting. Oh, somebody is seizing a new opportunity. They want it. They want it. And I think what they did in the past was they missed it. They missed the opportunity in the past, but now they have they see the opportunity and they're going for it. They are going for it. Now, temperance comes after death. So I think there's been a lack of communication. There's been a lack of reciprocation. There's been a lack of uh, maybe even respect or something. And something may have ended. And now there's a chance to heal something. Now somebody is interested. Now, this could be new love. It could be. This is an opportunity. Somebody is seizing an opportunity for love. Whereas they weren't interested in before. They were not interested in it before. But now they are. So I think we have a very, and the, the magician is a very masculine energy, very intelligent, very clever, very focused. We have an individual that is focused on holding on to something. Hmm. Going to put in effort. Somebody's going to put in effort towards this queen of pentacles. This person has a lot to offer. It's, they do. So somebody is going to prove themselves to this person. They may, you know, have been, so there's been a rejection at some point. There has. Now they're going to put in effort. Ooh, there's that two of wands, the moment of decision. I knew it too. So there is, there's a decision that is being made. That was the first card that I saw. It did, not in the deck. Okay, I didn't see it in the deck. So the two of wands is the moment of decision where somebody decides, you know, that this is an opportunity. And they're going to leave. They're, they're not taking. They're, they're moving into the future. They're ready. They're ready to step into unknown territory. This is an exciting opportunity. It's probably a deep desire. A deep desire to move in that direction. We have an individual here. Um, and this one's been waiting, been waiting for somebody to see their value and watching and waiting as well. Watching this person, wondering what their decision was going to be. I think the decision is, is, this individual is about to put in effort or something like that. Now, I wonder if this is, if this is work related, somebody may be getting fired. Being, I'm just being honest. So they did get fired. They did get let go. And now they have another opportunity coming in. Okay. Just saying. This is working really, really, really hard to prove something. Stepping into new territory, taking action to build success, to build something successful, a successful partnership because this is a partnership. So somebody is going to be building or starting a new partnership with somebody where they may have missed the opportunity in the past or they didn't see it in the past. Now they're taking it. They are taking action. They see the opportunity. Now they want it. They're going to be putting in effort, a lot of effort. Working really, really hard to prove themselves. I think there's been some sort of rejection, though, that came before it. Now it's time. There's a reason. Everything happens for a purpose. Everything happens for a reason. This is, this is, uh, somebody's making a better choice. They had other options in the past, and that's why they didn't take the opportunity. But now they see it as something solid. They do. Now they see it as something that they want. So this is definitely an exchange. Um, somebody is definitely ready to move forward, to let go. It's the end of stagnation with the Four of Cups reversed. 
they're now they're interested so they're gonna so there's there's a new interest here there's a lot of interest that they want they really want it and so they're gonna take action to prove themselves to this person who uh, has a lot to offer Ooh, there's been some heartache or there oh my god there's pain there's pain there's suffering there's grieving of some sort. There's been a rejection of some sort. There has. And I feel like whoever has done the rejecting knows that it hurts. They know they know that it's painful. Very painful. But this is this is help arriving. This is healing. There's hope. There's still hope, even though it was painful. Even though there was a lot of pain and there was a lot of hurt. There's still hope. There's still hope. There's hope for renewal. There's an opportunity for healing. There's an opportunity, but this is a test of faith. So somebody underneath it is the magician is taking action to renew something. Now, this is a new purpose. This is a fairy godmother. This is a wish being granted. This is unexpected. So there's an un there could be a, an unexpected wish being granted. Somebody may have been wishing for um, a renewal or a reunion. And I'm not trying to get anybody's hopes up, but this is a card of hope. Now, this is a blessing in disguise after the tower fell. So we have an individual that is going to put in effort to prove themselves. Now, this is a star. This is a star. The star is very bright. Somebody could be dealing with somebody that is famous or somebody that shines very, very brightly. This individual sees that this person is a star. They see that this person is beautiful. So I feel like we have somebody that is coming in very fast. They're taking action right now. They see an opportunity and they don't want anybody else to get it and they're going for it. So if you are the Queen of Pentacles... I think it's the Queen of Pentacles that is getting this offer. I do. She's been waiting. She knows her value. She knows her value. She's been she's been waiting for somebody to make a decision and put in effort and to prove themselves. And this person is here. In a hurry. This, the person that is charging on in sees this as, you know, something stable, something solid, a dream come true, you know. And they were not interested at one point. They were not interested. And I think they weren't interested because they were focused on something else. Obviously, they were focused on their past or uh, they were still grieving or they were not emotionally available or they had other options or they just weren't ready or something like that. But it feels like now they are and here they come. So this is moving in a new direction very, very, very fast. So something is going to happen very, very, very fast. This person could show up. They could show up, you know. They may be hoping for, to heal uh, a painful situation. Um, so a decision is being made to put in effort to prove themselves after there's been a rejection. That's what I got. Good luck.